Our celebrating is not about a pagan holiday waiting for a fat guy in a red coat to show up, but how God changed everything becoming flesh in a virgin womb and was born the moment to share with them the prophet before Jesus' birth in Bethlehem. For example, hundreds of years before Jesus was born in Bethlehem, they records, therefore the Lord himself shall sign, behold, a virgin conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. And then in Micah chapter 5, verse 1 to 2, we read, Now gather thy against us, they shall smite the judge of Israel with the rod upon O oh, Bethlehem Ephrata, though little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is from everlasting. So this Christmas season, let us not avoid family and friends as they to share with them the way, the truth, and the life. Let us show our loved ones who we represent is the true light that lighteth every man. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16, the Lord Jesus Christ are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone else. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see. I hope this has helped some of you out there that have been asking the question, should we say it's a pagan holiday? Again, the answer is simple. We should not celebrate Christmas the way the world celebrates it, but we need to show the world what we believe in a red coat with his reindeer and elves. But how God changed everything close to 2,000 years ago by becoming flesh and danger. Let your light shine this Christmas season. Believe. Uh, celebrating uh, the pagan festival the world does. But let us show them what we do believe.